IRS is setting a new tax brackets for the year 2024 and this could be good news for you. Now the tax agency says they are going to adjust the tax bracket upwards 5.4% to account for the impact of the inflation. Check this out the latest news article IRS tax bracket 2024 update these Americans will be paying more. For which group of beneficiaries is this a good news if your taxable income falls into a lower tax bracket because of the higher limits you still have some time before this happens because taxpayers will have to file their 2024 taxes in early 2025 more people are likely to take a standard deduction than in prior years now the increased standard deduction will reduce the taxes for all the taxpayers so without a further ado let's check it out all the details what it exactly means first thing i would like to mention all the new rules regarding the standard deduction and income tax bracket for the tax year 2024 will be a for concern written file in the year 2025 and not year 2024 however for the standard deduction which deals with the amount of the increase which americans are taxed you should expect that numbers to move up to twenty nine thousand two hundred dollars for married couples filing joint and for single filers the deduction has increased to fourteen thousand six hundred dollars that's a whopping one thousand five hundred dollars and seven hundred and fifty dollars increase respectively also heads of the households will see their standard direction increase by $1,100 setting it at $21,900. Therefore, a consequence of this adjustment is that more people are likely to take a standard deduction than in prior years and this clearly means that taxpayers would more likely to take standard deduction. Now, the increased standard deduction will reduce the taxes for all the taxpayers that claim the standard deduction. On other hand, their federal income taxes will be lower but on other hand, and the expenses are higher. So you should also expect some major changes to the tax brackets next year. So talking about the tax brackets, well, those with the incomes greater than $609,350 or $731,200 for married couples filing jointly, they will see their 37% of their taxes owed. Talking about the next group of people, for those making more than $243,725 or $487,000, thousand four fifty dollars for married couples filing jointly that number moves to 32 percent so these are the tax brackets for the next year now down the income scale and individuals making about 191,950 dollars as individuals are 383,900 dollars for married couples filing jointly they will be going to owe 32 percent of their taxes talking about the next bracket if you bring in 100,525 dollars as individuals are $201,050 for married couples filing jointly, you expect to owe 24% taxes. Next group of recipients, American making more than $47,150 as individuals are $94,300 as married couples filing jointly, you'll be owing 22% of the taxes. And next group of people, those making incomes above are $23,200 for married couples filing jointly, you'll be going to owe 10% taxes and additionally anyone making less than that will have to pay 10% in taxes and additionally the alternative minimum tax exemption amount is changing climbing it to $85,700 from $81,300 and disappearing at $609,350 instead of $578,150. Talking about the earned income tax credit those will be slightly different this year based on the inflation numbers you can expect a minimum credit credit of $7,830 instead of $7,430. Now, despite the area of the tax changes coming on your way in 2024, some of those things are staying the exactly the same. The personal exemption for the tax year 2024 will be still zero and there will be no limit on itemized deductions. So, well, that's all the details about the tax bracket 2024 for the latest IRS tax brackets. Hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe and this is Kedar from Hatu Guys. See you in the next video.